for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, welcome to my channel. So, Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we've got this two of cups. And it's with the page of swords. Now, what this is telling me is that the connection, it, well, you could have felt like it had a lot of possibilities with this Two of Cups. Um, for some of you, you were dealing with someone that's younger than you because when you get the Page of Swords in a reading that does indicate a student, it could indicate immaturity, someone younger than you. Or it could indicate um, a student. So there is a, a element of immaturity here. That's what I'm getting. This page of swords, the card that's below the word pass, it can indicate someone who, like I said, could be immature or just younger than you. Or they could be the type that um, they do things that you really don't appreciate. With the Page of Swords, it could feel like this person is stepping on your toes. They bring conflict. You might feel like they're stalking you at times or watching you. Just things that you really don't appreciate. But there was a deep connection here. On some level with the Two of Cups. Could have been strong chemistry. They could have felt like you were their ideal mate. Some type of deep connection. Maybe it was just really good chemistry. Now, because this is a sword that we're dealing with, the Page of Swords, for some of you, you're dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah. But that's the recent past energy between the two of you. Let's move on over and take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Knight of Wands and it's with the Three of Swords. Well, the Knight of Wands is telling me that coming up, you might start to feel like you don't really need to be in this connection or give it 100% because the Knight of Wands is a card that's above the word present so when, the, when you get the Knight of Wands in a reading it's about being in and out it's about not giving it 100 so because your person has this way about them of doing things that you don't understand sometimes or you don't appreciate sometimes you're just starting to feel like you don't want to give this 100 percent of your time 100 percent of your energy or you you're realizing that you shouldn't get emotionally invested in this so you kind of you kind of got one foot in and one foot out with this person for some of you, you could be feeling like you might end up getting hurt by this connection if you get too invested. So, you're probably keeping your guards up and you're probably um, kind of detached from this connection. Or you're just making sure you're not getting that invested. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Nine of Pentacles and so the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge. This type of energy is a rush type of energy. Knight rushes in, coming in to sweep you off your feet. So your person could feel you maybe pulling back or they can feel that you're detaching or trying to detach from them or you're just not in it as much as you used to be 
they could be feeling this, they could sense it, so they're coming, to, they're rushing in. Knight of Swords cuts out whatever gets in their way just to be with their person. So like I said, your person comes rushing in, trying to maybe take you out, sweep you off your feet. The Knight of Swords can be romantic. And um, they could be expressing that they want a good relationship with you. Nine of Pentacles is here. Nine of Pentacles is a good relationship. Really good. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. You got the Nine. Not bad. Just short of one Pentacle to have it all. So, they could be trying to convince you to invest. Because they see that you're, you're trying to detach. They want a good relationship with you. Nine of Pentacles is here. They come rushing in. Trying to sweep you off your feet. They're putting a stop to whatever gets in their way just to be with you. So, the outcome, the Hierophant and the Two of Wands. Now, the Hierophant is a moral, ethical, and traditional type of person. And... You could be feeling that, well, I'll put it this way, for some of you, you know someone like this Hierophant. And I say this because you got the Two of Wands here. That's the card that's below the word outcome. Two of Wands. Two paths towards the future. Trying to decide. That's the Two of Wands. Trying to make a decision. For some of you, you know someone that you feel is more honest more um, more loyal, more genuine, more true. And you could be trying to figure out, should you go that way or should you stay with this page of swords? And for others of you, you could be feeling like you don't think that this connection has enough honesty in it. And you could be feeling like you need to have a couple of other options. So, those are the two storylines that I'm getting. Yeah, so... Just know that this person, this Page of Swords, they do want a good relationship with you. They feel like they could have it with you. But you're not quite so sure. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you're not quite so sure. Two of Wands is there. You could be choosing to go down another path. For some of you, you could be looking for someone who's more sincere, more ethical and traditional. Yeah, so you got somebody that wants to be with you, but you're just not really in it. No, they, they're just on the childish side or maybe immature. Or like I said, they just do things you really don't understand. Or appreciate. So that is the reading that I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. 
Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, 